In this video, we will learn how to keep the user login into the application. So as you can see right now, if we log in into the application and we press on the login button, we will go through the home page. But uh, and as you can see as well, we are inside a user ID. But if we restart the app, we are coming back into the login page. So that's mean the user is not uh, keep login. So this is a quite a good problem. So we will solve this on this video. Okay, so how are we going to do that? First of all, I will uh, close all tab and I will open the decision three. Good, as you can see, we are inside a state full widget. So that's mean we can use set state and set state is used to refresh the build. So the widget build, that's good. And then uh, what we will need to do is create a function inside this, uh, inside this, so right here after the state decisions three. And right after the user user, we will create a new function called the init state. And we can use the init state because we are inside a state full widget. Okay, next, we will call inside the init state, the onfresh function. Okay, and the init state, the purpose of it is to start the function before everything inside this code. That's good. So when we do onrefresh, we are need uh, we are needed to put a user inside okay so what will be the user so we have the firebase at package import so we can use the firebase function we will say firebase at dot instance to start the firebase function and then we will say dot current user if we go over current user you will see that this is a user that we receive. So that is perfect. And this is what we need. So the Firebase instant current user give us the user and the on refresh need a user credential. So we are good. So if we make refresh, we will see that we are now inside the home page. So the, the user is still login, even if we refresh, quit the app or restart the application. Next step, just to be sure, we will need to go inside the main. And in this one, you just need to be sure to have put the async and the await for the Firebase initialize app. Because by example, if you remove them and you restart the application, uh, I will need to restart once again, you will see an error. And this is a quite common error. And it say that the this is has not been uh, installed first. So we need the install I, installize app and we need to await. And because we are waiting for the Firebase initialize app, we can put as well a future void before the main instead of only a void. Good, and if we restart, you will see that this will change nothing, but it's just better to do it. That's good. So right now what we have done is uh, keep the user login when we are login. And in the next video, we will put a button on the home page to log out the user. So that's it for this video and see you on the next one. Bye.